What's happening YouTube? I'm Alec Delelio and today I'm going to be showing you guys how to play Surf by Mac Miller. Um, so basically the way that this is going to work, if y'all haven't seen my videos before, is I'm going to play through a quick section of the song. We're going to go through the chords one by one, each of which will be tabbed out in the description of this video here. If you like what you see, you can request uh, future guitar lessons, covers in the comment section, or sign up for private lessons with me in the link in the description. So first of all, I'm just gonna play uh, through a few bars of the song so y'all can get an idea of how it sounds and then we'll get into the chords. I come to the whole world is open a playground for me and you there it is basically um, so the song is only four chords many of the shapes that um, actually all of the shapes that I'm playing here are shapes that I've gone over in previous lessons previous Mac Miller lessons at that uh, if y'all have seen uh, my videos so um, you should recognize them but yeah, we'll just get right into it now. Uh, the first chord is a D flat minor seven, which I'm playing uh, with the root note on the low E string. So basically I'm just barring all six strings with my index finger on the ninth fret. And then my ring finger here is uh, getting the 11th fret of the A string. So basically the strumming pattern for this chord and for all the rest of all the following chords is gonna be you just play the, the root note, so in this case the low E string, and then play the chord. So, so uh, moving on from there, uh, the next chord is a F sharp minor seven. Um, and so we don't have to move very much for this one because the F sharp uh, is actually the ninth fret of the A string. So before you were barring all six strings for this previous chord, but moving into the F sharp, you just, you stay on the ninth fret, um, but you only need to bar the bottom five strings. So you're gonna continue using your index finger to bar the uh, bottom five strings on the ninth fret. Uh, you're going to use your ring finger. Your ring finger is basically just gonna um, move down a string. So before you had it on the 11th fret of the A string, now you're gonna have it on the 11th fret of the D string. And this is still barred. And the, uh, then all you need is your middle finger to come fall down in between them here on the 10th fret of the B string. So those two chords together, um, very, very intuitive to play together once you practice the shapes a bit. Uh, and that's essentially half the song right there. Uh, so moving on, we've got a B major chord. Uh, the way that I'm playing it is um, in a standard major bar chord shape. So uh, I'm barring the seventh fret uh, on all six strings with my index finger here. And then um, my ring and pinky fingers are coming down on the ninth fret of the um, A and D strings. This is just your power chord shape. And then to make it a major bar chord, your middle finger drops below onto the eighth fret of the G string. Um, and you're gonna play that the same way as the other chords, play the bass note and then strum the chord. Uh, and then finally, you have an E major, which I'm playing again um, in this kind of bar chord shape. And the reason why is because this one is just like the previous, uh, or the first two chords, in that um, you kind of just move up from, uh, you know, having your, your root note on the low E string to having it on the A string, but you don't actually move frets, you're just moving like down a tiny bit. So it's very, very intuitive, very comfortable. Um, so for that E, what I'm doing is barring the seventh fret um, in the bottom of the bottom five strings, and then stacking my middle ring and pinky fingers all on the ninth fret of, uh, you know, the, the following three strings. So seven, nine, nine, nine. 
is how that would be tabbed out. Um, so that's essentially the song. You can, I know some of you might be more comfortable playing an open E chord. And that will also work, you could do. That also uh, sounds pretty good, in my opinion. So um, that's really the song. Uh, one more thing I'd, I guess I could show y'all is if you want to improvise over the song, if you want to play some lead guitar, I believe you would use... Yeah, you would use the, uh, what is this? C sharp or D flat uh, pentatonic scale, which is... Um, there's a lot more that can be done with that, uh, and there are other scales that can be used, I'm sure, but if you just want to mess around a little bit... I think that's where a lot of the, the riffing uh, can, be, can be done, is in that scale. So, anyway, I hope you enjoyed this lesson, guys. If you did, uh, please show some love in the comment section, like this video, subscribe, tell your friends, all that good stuff. Uh, and as I mentioned, I am available for private uh, online guitar lessons. So feel free to sign up at the link in my description. Thanks, y'all, and hope you have a great day.